Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold my new model, an origami spider web. It's a model that I like because, depending on where the light is coming from, you get uh, interesting uh, shadows and reflections. I also made another version of this design with a spider and a fly. It's made from only one piece of paper with different colors on each side. To fold the spider web, you need a square piece of paper that you can cut from one piece of copy paper and we'll start by folding along one diagonal. Mark the fold. Then bring this tip to this tip. And mark the fold. Then take one tip here and bring it to the opposite tip again. Mark the fold. Turn the model to the other side and bring this tip to this tip. and mark the fold. Now we are going to bring this edge here to this edge. Mark the fold. And so that you can see better, I'm going to Mark this fold here. So this is the crease of the fold that we just made. And I'm going to mark it on the other side as well. And the reason I'm marking it is that we need it for the next fold. So the next fold, we are going to start from this point here at the corner and we'll fold like this. And you want the crease line to be aligned. Once it's aligned, here's the tip, then mark the fold. Now we're going to fold again this fold on all layers. So we have lots of layers, so you really want to mark the fold well. And unfold. And now we are going to make some uh, parallel divisions like that. And we want a odd uh, number of divisions. We are going to make nine divisions. So of course, you can use a ruler if you want to be very precise. But what you can do as well is just divide into thirds and to do that Take the tip and fold it down. And the idea is that you want this distance to be roughly equal to this distance here. And mark the fold well. And now we are going to bring this crease here to this crease. Mark the fold well. And we should have uh, thirds, roughly. And now we are going to repeat the same thing here to get thirds again. Mark the fold. Bring this crease to this crease. Mark the fold. And for the next creases, you can just go like this. And you want to take this crease here and put it on that one. 
this. Not a fold. Then bring this crease to this crease. Not a fold. And then we need to take that one and bring it to the last crease. Mark the fold. We are almost done with our divisions. We just need to take this one to the last one. And mark the fold well as well. So once we have all our uh, nine divisions, we can unfold the model and you will see that we have something that looks like a spider web already and we are going to put it in three dimensions and to do that we'll fold again all those folds so that they become mountain folds so the two diagonals Then those. And this last one here. So now we are going to invert this fold so that this mountain becomes a valley. And when you do that, you get a kind of uh, pyramid. So Turn the model to the other side, put this part flat, and to lock it, we are going to fold along the existing crease here. So take all layers and fold them together like this, all the way, and mark the fold well, and then same here, we have uh, the existing crease and we are go going to fold it inside like this. Then do the same thing on all the other sides. So fold along the existing creases and push the tips inside. And that's going to help us to uh, lock our pyramid. And one last one. So now that all the flaps are inside, if you turn the model again to the other side, you get a, a kind of hexagonal pyramid. You can fold again this one here. and you get an hexagonal pyramid. And now what we are going to do is we are going to push inside those uh, creases so that we have one valley, one mountain, one valley, one mountain, etc. So we are going to collapse the pyramid into a spider web starting at the top. And we have some creases here so this one is going to be a valley, this one a mountain, etc. So I'm going to put some fingers inside. So one finger here and the other, I'm going to put it just below the second crease. So that crease is going to become a mountain. So I'm going to hold my fingers and then gently try to push inside like this. And you want to mark this mountain fold. Don't worry too much about the valley fold inside. We'll do it from the other side. Let's rotate the model and try to do all the mountain folds. And here I'm just folding the creases that we have already folded. So just follow the crease line and mark the fold. OK. 
Keep rotating the model. And mark the mountain fold. And that first layer is the most difficult one because it's uh, smallest. So the other layers are going to be easier. So now I have, it, I have a nice uh, hexagon of mountain falls. And we are going to try to improve the valley falls. And to do that, it's easier to just look under the model. And again, put one finger here and try to make a nicer hexagon here. And try, just use your fingers like this to mark the mountain fold. And now we can continue one more level. So again, I'm going to put my fingers. So this is going to be a valley fold and that one will be a mountain fold. So actually, I already have a mountain fold here. So I'll take this side, put your finger under and try to push. So that you get a mountain. So here I have my mountain fold, I'm going to mark it and then rotate the model and mark the mountain fold all the way. Push the valley fold inside and mark the mountain. This is where I have a double layer. Mark the full well. Take your time. So now I have all my mountain folds for the second layer, and you can go under and just pinch like this. To mark the valley folds. And you can continue like that for all the other layers. I'm going to accelerate the video for the other layers. For each layer, push the valley folds inside and then mark the mountain folds. Then once you have all the mountain folds marked, Turn the model to the other side to mark the valley folds. It's not a difficult model, but it takes a bit of practice. Once you have done your first spider web, it will be much easier to make the second. And your spider web is complete. I hope you like this spider web model. If you make several spider webs, you can use them as hexagonal tiles. In the next video, I will show you how to add a spider and a fly to the web with still only one square of paper. If you fold this spider web or another of my origami models, please send me pictures so that I can show them in the next videos. A lot of you folded my new origami bat model. Thank you very much for all your cool pictures. I'm very happy that you like this origami bat. Please keep the pictures coming. Thank you very much. Happy Halloween and happy folding!